Hey everyone, today we're going to take a couple of quick minutes just to review shoulder cars like you might be prescribed by one of us here at Perfect Stride Physical Therapy, okay? So with shoulder cars, we're going to attempt to draw as big of a circle as possible, again, with staying away from pain and avoiding any of those closing angle pinches I'm sure that we've mentioned to you in the clinic or you've seen us talk about in previous videos. So like everywhere else, we're going to start to set our tension here, okay? Squeeze light fist, tighten our thighs, hold your butt. I'm gonna stand facing the side so that way you guys get a clear look at my arm the entire time. So as I start to lift my arm, I'm making sure my elbow stays locked. You can keep your hand straight or in a nice tight fist, whatever feels more comfortable for you. I've even had patients hold a tennis ball to get extra squeeze and effort out of that arm, okay? So we'll start here, elbow locked, and we're gonna slowly start to raise that arm up, keeping tension everywhere else in our body. And we're gonna to get to our highest point possible while staying away from pain. Okay, now in this instance, as we come up, closing angle pain would be right here at the top of the shoulder. However, anything that causes your symptoms is gonna be things that we wanna avoid. So let's look at a full circle first and then we'll talk about compensations or ways to challenge it or change it. So we'll stay up nice and tall. Elbow straight, holding tension. I get to the highest point I can in my circle. I hit my sticky point. At that point, I hold the angle, I slowly turn my hand out, okay? Almost as if I'm wringing out my arm like a wet towel. As I reach back, I'm still thinking of twisting the arm, okay? So I'm not losing that tension, coming slowly, reaching behind, and I should end with my hand at my side, and now in this case, my pinky should be forward. Now, if we reverse that part of the circle, and we go backwards, my pinky will stay forward. I'm still going to hold tension into that arm, and I'm going to kind of just push and reach back as far as I can. Once I get to that sticky point, and it will happen a lot faster backward than it did forward, we're going to turn the arm again, keep reaching, holding tension, and slowly bring your arm all the way up, and then slice down through the air. Now, as I mentioned before, if I had pain and I needed to kind of compensate with this, we're going to just avoid those arcs of motion that are painful. So if I start to come up and I start to have pain here in my shoulder, well, I'm going to stop here, turn that arm out, swing out to the side, start drawing my circle as big as I can, not losing tension. Maybe I have pain again here, I stop, and I'm going to shorten that circle again and come down to the side. Again, another reason why we say going slow is so important, so you can really analyze the shoulder and prevent any of these tissues from getting injured. One of the ways to challenge this, very light, similar like we mentioned in the scapular cars, take a light weight, one pound, two pounds, and then go through that motion again. Keep in mind though, I only want you to do that when you've established full pain-free tension and you've been cleared by one of us here at the clinic. And that's shoulder parks.